Yeah? Olivia, ah. Uh, you brought our little jailbird. How you feeling, sweetheart? Nah, I figured you would run. You got a lot of father than I thought, to be honest. Makes me wonder just what kind of life you lived that you felt confident enough to try to escape a mob boss. A secret, huh? Interesting. As I said, you aren't leaving here. I suggest you get that through your thick skull. Olivia's gonna be your best friend. More than that, really. Until I can trust you won't take off again, she's gonna be stuck to you like glue. But hey, there are worse fates, right? You know, you could tell me where your brother is. Then he could be here enjoying my company instead of you. So, where is he? Bullshit. Because it is. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but there's no way you don't know where he is. I'm not an idiot. I did my research. I know how close you are to him. Parents died when you were in high school and you stepped up and supported the two of you. It's admirable, really. But where is he now, huh? I mean, look at you. Look at what you've suffered in his state. He should have had that black eye, not you. So tell me, where is he? You do know. Tell me. Now. You're sure? You have no idea. <sighs> I don't know whether to admire you or call you a fool. No, Olivia, we're not breaking a few fingers. Jeez, you all need to remember who we are now. Robin Hood? Is that what you call me, sweetheart? <laughs> You're wrong. I am still very much a bad man. Olivia, go. Wait outside. <sighs> Let me tell you a story, sweetheart. Once upon a time, there was a boy born into this big, crazy family. And while his family did very bad things, the boy felt loved and sheltered. Until the boy was 10 and his mother was gunned down by another gang. The police called it a suicide, but the boy's family knew better. The boy's father decided to go to war, wiped out the other gang, took over their territory, killed many people. Most were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And the boy saw all of this, saw his father become more and more of a monster. And there was only one way to deal with a monster. The father died and the son became the new leader. Everyone looked to him to continue the bloodshed, but he stopped it or tried to because here's the thing that no one will ever tell you. It's hard to have a code of ethics and be in this line of work. Truth is, if anyone else was the leader, you'd be dead. We'd have sent your head in a box to your brother. If your parents were alive, we would have killed them too. Nothing else matters except the money. That's what the business is. That's what holds this family together. So, no, sweetheart, I'm not Robin Hood. This isn't a fairy tale. You're in a very dangerous situation. And it's only by some miracle you haven't been killed. So, I'm gonna ask one more time. Where is your brother? What do you say? Go fuck myself. <laughs> you have spirit, I'll give you that. But my patience is running thin, along with everyone else. Do you have a death wish? You still won't tell me. Fine, so be it. I hope you like this mansion then, because you won't be leaving it anytime soon. 
If I'm angrier, it's because of you! I barely had control over this family before you, and now because you won't give up your brother, everything is, and everyone is questioning me! Killing you would be easy for me. I could snap my fingers, and boom, you'd be gone. Do you realize that? Do you understand the precarious position that you're in? Fine. There's nothing more for me to say. It's clear that you're not going to relent. I didn't tell you that story for you to pity me. I just wanted you to understand how volatile the situation is. There are others who think like Ray. And if enough of them gets riled up, I might not be in charge anymore. And you, sweetheart, would be killed. So, your brother. Fine. Olivia! We're done here. Take her back to her room. <sighs> Great. Why did I tell her all that? She didn't need to know. Eric. Thanks. You look like shit, too. How was your romantic date night? Good. Glad to hear it. Fill you in, did she? Tell me, honestly. Am I being too weak? I do want to know. You're my best friend. My lieutenant. You knew what my father was like. What he was capable of. Do I need to be more like him to make sure this family doesn't fall apart? That girl. She won't give up her brother and for a moment I thought... I thought... What would my dad do? I don't want to be like him. I, But I feel like I may have no choice. You stand by my side even if I became a tyrant? <laughs> You're a good friend. Promise me, if I ever get too close to that edge, you'll put a bullet in me. You're the only one who would. I'm not just saying that. I don't know what the future holds. Just promise me, okay? I don't want to end up like him. Good. Thanks. Go check in with the girl. Maybe a new face will make her talk. The sooner she's out of here, the better. Thanks, Eric. She's either the stupidest girl in the world, or the bravest. She didn't even talk after you said that? <sighs> Jeez. I know we could. It would be easy to break a few fingers, Eric. No. I don't want to go down that path. It never stops, Eric. You know that. Once you start going into the dark, you never come out the other side. I don't know. What other choice do we have? Let her stay here under lock and key? She's useless. Her only value is as hostage and we can't even find where her damn brother is to threaten him with it. They need to do better. Work harder. He's not a ghost. He didn't just disappear. I know. I just... I hate this, being powerless, like a fucking sitting duck. I know no one has said anything, but they're thinking about it. You can tell, there's a seed of doubt. I need to have a show of force, reminding them why they follow me, why I'm in charge. No, this needs a personal touch. I'll talk to her. 
I don't know. Maybe. I know, Eric. I just need to try. I'll stop before I go too far. Olivia, move aside. All right, sweetheart. I've been pretty patient. I've given you a chance to come clean. You've abused my hospitality, and I'm tired. I'm going to ask one more time. Where is your brother? Yeah. It's a nice gun, isn't it? Tell you a little secret, sweetheart. This gun is untraceable. See, my dad, he was paranoid. Usually he overdid things. But the guns, he got that right. Last thing we need is for the police to tie anything back to us when they find your body. I told you. I'm a mob boss. This is who I am. Who are you to lecture me about rules? Lady, your brother is the one who took from the mob. You can walk out of here if you just tell me where he is. And you be willing to die in his stead? Does he mean that much to you? <sighs> one more chance. Otherwise, this bullet is going straight through your brain. Where is your brother? One. Two. Last chance. I've had it. The next time, the shot won't miss. Olivia, leave. You talk a big talk, but I can see you shaking. You don't have a death wish, sweetheart. Just make it easy on yourself. Oh, great. Just fucking fantastic. Get behind me. Now! How many? Shit. Did we piss off anyone recently? That's why I thought. I want one of them alive and brought to me. Get going then. Well, you're in for a treat. You get to experience a good old fashioned shootout. There's the fear. I knew you were a human deep down in there somewhere. Relax, sweetheart. You're with the boss of the mob. You're safe. I don't plan on letting anyone take me down today, especially not some renegades with guns. And a fucking bomb. We need to move. Now. Just keep running. This is the war room. Bulletproof glass and impenetrable walls. No one's getting through here. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going out there to handle my guests. You're going to stay here and try really hard to remember where your brother is. Really? Now you beg me not to go? Relax, sweetheart. You're safe. Trust me. Plus, I'll have Eric with you. He's my lieutenant and a good guy. Good. Then, see you on the other side. Olivia! How many left? Good. Have the left flank surround them. They probably think they can get out that way if things turn south. I'm good. I could use a distraction, actually. You guys idiots! Who storms a mob compound in broad daylight? One down. Fine. You wanna die so bad? I'll grant your wish. <sighs> Fucking asshole!
Good. Get the wounded to the dock. Where's our survivor? <laughs> you are so screwed. When we're done with you, you'll be wishing I had killed you here. Now, who's the asshole that sent you? What? Run that by me again? Hired? By who? Tell me now! <sighs> Handle this, Olivia. I'll explain later. Just do it. <sighs> well, sweetheart. Looks like you have some explaining to do, hmm? Because those idiots that just showed up, they were here for you because your brother hired them. Now, I don't know who has the kind of money floating around to hire a private army, but I do know is someone who wouldn't borrow from me. So the question becomes, who are you really? Hmm?